Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel again. Let's talk about some high prices and how we can save some money today. Well, as most of you know, there is a drought right now, especially in the central US, and the farmers are just having a heck of a time trying to feed their cattle. Matter of fact, they're taking everything they've got to market just to get what they can out of them now. I saw two of these today, $33 at Walmart and I can barely afford this anymore. So I went to another animal that you may have went to now, and that's right, it's the pig. And these prices are not real, real good, but uh, I'm gonna show you a way to save some money. Now this is a pork rib center cut pork chop. It's got a rib bone in it, a loin center cut chop. It also has a bone in it. Now this is the loin boneless center cut chop. That's the one that everybody wants. Now today at Walmart, not one, but two in a package, $4.51 per pound. Two of these was $5.03. Well, let me show you what I did. First, let's get the uh, cutting board, the $2 cutting board that I got at the yard sale. Uh, kind of oiled up a little bit with the vegetable oil. And let me show you what I purchased today and uh, see if this won't save you some money. This is a pack of pork chops that I got out of my freezer. Bone in, okay, there's three of them in there. You may be able to see right here, I know the focus is not good, $3.39 a pound, $3.85 for three pork chops with the bone in them. Now this is what I bought, and I know it's not focused real well, but it's $1.99 a pound. I paid $16.40 for this over eight pound piece of meat. This is the pork loin boneless. That's right, that's where those center cut pork chops come from and also some pretty nice pork roast. And uh, let me show you what I do here. There's the fat side, flip it over. You can see where the ribs were connected in this area. And there's a natural seam that runs through here. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for that seam. You'll see that little line, white line of fat running through there. Kind of ends there and then there. So I'm gonna make two cuts. First one here. And this is going to be my first pork roast. Now, I'm not taking the fat off yet. I'm gonna go ahead and slice them up with the fat on them. Then I'll trim them down here just in a little bit. But there's your center cut. That's them expensive ones. Like I say, two of these now, $5.03. Let's see how many I get. My knife could be a little bit sharper, I know that I didn't uh, have much time today after we got back from town to sharpen it, so I'm sure I can get through this with it. That's that $5 knife with the Duracoat paint job. It's holding up really well, but I'm already losing count. Okay. We'll keep cutting until we get down to that second point that I was talking about stopping it. Now this is it right here. Now this is another roast, but I'm gonna try something different now. I've never done this before. And like I say, my knife is not really sharp, but this is what you call filleting a roast. And what I'm doing is kind of like unrolling a roll of paper towels. I'm just gonna keep cutting it, trying to stay the same thickness as I can, but I don't do a very good job. But like I say, this, this is the first try for me. So uh, I've already got one roast and let's see what we do here. I'm supposed to get it to where it'll lay plumb out flat without cutting my finger off. I, I've just about got it here. Okay, now then, that's fairly flat. Now, I don't know if you've done this before. I've never done it, but now I'm gonna take the, a little bit of the fat off the back side because I don't want uh, excess fat, but I wanna leave a little bit on there for the, for the flavor. And what I saw on YouTube was you can stuff this thing. And uh, there's a recipe with spinach uh, cheese, uh, several other uh, seasonings. And uh, I'll flip this over here in a minute and I'll show you when I get the rest of that fat off. Now you flip it over and you cover it with the stuffing on top and then you roll it around the stuffing and then use the butcher's twine, tie it off, and now you've got you a filleted stuffed roast. So, but I'm gonna freeze it like this. When I thaw it out, I'll unroll it and stuff it and try that, so yeah. Now this one here, I need to trim a little bit of the fat off of it too. Um, like I say, there's there's nothing wrong with it, but I, I don't want a lot of a lot of fat on there. 
And as you can see, there's not much waste except what's laying there at, uh, beside that roast on the cutting board. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good bit of meat for $16. So let's see what we got here now. Okay. I'm going to have to definitely trim up those pork chops some. I know that. So let me get uh, another knife out. Uh, I've got a little boning knife here. I can knock a few corners off and still leave a little bit, but uh, then we'll get a count for sure on these things. Okay, let's see here. Okay, 21 center cut boneless loin pork chops. Three to a package. Me, Tina, Mom. That's what we always eat. Go ahead keep them in rows like this that way when they're frozen I can at least count them to see so let's go back to it again here now it should be seven packages yeah I got uh, six seven packages of pork chops and two nice roast and one that I can stuff $16 can't beat it guys thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy it